In this video, I'm going to emphasize the least controversial ways to wear a denim shirt. They're just thicker and tougher than a regular shirt, which not only means that it lasts longer, but also it fits better with wear, like denim jeans do. It adds a nice element of texture to an outfit. They're warmer as shirts, so like better to layer in winter or wear alone when it's warmer. Denim shirts don't really need ironing because it's a pretty burly fabric that's designed for harder wear. And it's just a really classically American piece of clothing. Despite my accent, I live in the US and I have for 10 years and I've got that extra fanatical immigrant obsession with Americana that I share on this very silly YouTube channel of mine. I've got two casual options that are both from Flint and Tinder. So I've got a classic two pocket button up they call the Expedition work shirt and the iconic American made denim Western shirt that they call the Bone Button Western shirt. I'm going to mention a couple of other brands at the end of this video. All right, so with the workwear history, I whipped up a couple of examples here that are called like heritage fashion, heritage workwear. The first is just denim shirt, canvas pants, and boots. Stupid simple, super classic. And if it's a little cold, nothing beats a leather jacket over a denim shirt. And if you've got one, a white Henley works pretty well under denim shirts as well. Notice I'm sticking to earth tones here with this fit. So while blue works just as well with cooler colors like gray and black, the green pants make this earthy. So this is like green and tan and brown and blue. Like these are the kinds of like warmer colors that you want to put together. For example of a fit with cooler colors, here I've got it with gray canvas pants and black boots. You can see what that looks like. The next kind of workwear inspired one is my recreation of Joel's from The Last of Us. He had a denim shirt from Walmart and blue jeans and brown leather boots and his jacket is the one from Flint and Tinder, like the waxed canvas trucker jacket. And that's exactly what he wears in the show. So this is a good example of a denim shirt with denim jeans working well because they're different washes. And also I've got a jacket to break it up as well. I'll repeat what I said in my how to style a denim jacket video. The best fabric to wear with denim, if you've got it, is canvas. They're both really tough cotton materials with origins in workwear. Denim is a twill weave, which means you get these diagonal lines in it. Canvas is a plain weave, so it has more of a cross-hatched look to it. So they complement each other really well. Here I'm just wearing Taylor Stitches All Day Pant. That's a brand that has a lot of canvas options. Naked and Famous has some good canvas options as well, or for really relaxed fits, you can go with Carhartt and Dickies. They have canvas as well, of course. Just note that most of them aren't 100% cotton, so they don't wear exactly the same as traditional canvas. So look for the makeup of the material there. Another slightly vintage one, this fit here is with chinos and that same leather jacket with natural boots. Natural means undyed, so it's like a golden tanned skin color. I've just been wearing this outfit a lot lately and my girlfriend says it looks like I've just come home from the war whenever I wear it. Now that's a reference to like the Air Force style flight jacket, but also because chinos were originally work pants for guys in the military, that's where they came from. Nowadays you can dress them off with a sports jacket pretty easily though. Now for a more modern look, you absolutely can and should mix blue denim with black denim. So blue denim shirt on top of black jeans with white sneakers, it's a really classic easy way to wear a denim shirt. Denim shirts often work as an overshirt as well, and especially when you're doing this more streetwear friendly look, you can definitely toss one over a white t-shirt. If it's cold, a black leather jacket here is king for topping off streetwear. Mine's from Shot NYC. If you're going in this more modern direction with your denim shirt and you have the choice of a Western and a non-Western denim shirt, I will say you want to go with non-Western like I'm doing here, especially if you're leaving your shirt open. This plainer style of denim shirt is simply more versatile and more modern, and I prefer pairing the Western one with like more earthy tones for a more like, consistent country theme. What a ridiculous sentence I just said. Okay, for a bit of a blend of like streetwear and heritage, try some non-white leather sneakers. I wear these simple blue suede ones from Beckett Simonon a lot. Either way you wanna go, whatever shoes you wanna wear, I wanted to show you here that corduroy is also a pretty good fabric to mix with denim as well. A loose green jacket over a denim shirt is also a really solid choice here. A quick note about denim on denim, I don't love it, but I've done it a couple of times here in this video where the shirt is contrasting with the jeans and it's especially good if you've got a jacket of a different fabric to add further contrast. Then I think it's okay, depending on your look. And I think that this fit would also be okay with dark wash jeans because the shirt is light and you've got the jacket to add some extra contrast. So here I'm just pairing the denim shirt with some green shorts and rolling up the sleeves. I don't love two pocket shirts with shorts. I kind of prefer single pocket like Todd Snyder's, but I think with the lighter wash of my shirt here, it works by making everything lighter and just more summer friendly. White sneakers are the safest bet here. I went with canvas ones from Nothing New. I considered loafers, but I think denim shirts even in this case might have a bit too much of like a rugged connotation to go with loafers. So I just went with, yeah, the, the twill shorts, the denim shirt and some white sneakers just for a solid summer look. And I do think you can pull up a denim shirt with white jeans, again, as a bit more of a carefree summer vibe. So I'd lean on a lighter wash for the shirt here and maybe just toss some canvas sneakers on the bottom, just like these Chuck Taylors. And lastly, I've kept things pretty simple so far, but if you'll indulge me for a bit, I clearly love American clothing history, and there's an extremely iconically American way to wear the denim Western shirt. 
which is with a tweed sports jacket. Although in one of these, I am wearing a shawl collar jacket, which isn't quite the same as a sports jacket, but it, it rocks as well. So that's a very famous Ralph Lauren move. And I'm also aping this old Dustin Hoffman outfit where he wore fatigues and a sports coat as well. And this is like a very un-British anti-aristocratic use of these fabrics, which appeals to me as an Australian a lot. Like something our two countries share is a delight in thumbing our noses at the norms of the British ruling class. And I'm obsessed with the way that this look brings into the kind of business casual and smart casual arena fabrics that were all for hardy outdoor wear, often for the working class. So like boots, chinos, denim, and tweed. Like it's important to remember that tweed sports coats used to be outdoor wear for like hunting and also for work, which is why it's called a sport coat. And because it's so long lasting, there's really no shame in getting your dad's used sports coat off of eBay for under hundred bucks and getting it tailored. That's exactly what I did with these ones that I'm showing you now. Like when you put a denim shirt under tweed on top of chinos and slim boots, or even on top of jeans and suede Western boots like Ralph Lauren, it's got like a self-aware historical irony that I think is delicious. Anyway, it's just an idea. So in these fits, I followed the following do's and don'ts. Do make your shirt contrast with something else. Pair it with different colored pants, ditto your jacket. Do stick to dark wash or medium wash for your first denim shirt, not like a super acid wash faded kind. Do keep things casual to smart casual. I've seen some guys on YouTube swear that you can wear a spread color unfaded denim shirt with a suit and tie. It's a bit high fashion for our low key purposes here. Like I'm really trying to make this video like as simple as I can, despite that whole Dustin Hoffman detour we just went on. God, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Now for the don'ts, don't get really complicated designs on your denim shirts, like embroidery or patches, that kind of stuff. Don't do denim on denim if it's the same color denim. It's just too unpopular and hard to do well for a guy to uncontroversial ways to wear a denim shirt. I did try it with the Ralph Lauren thing, but generally you want them to contrast. And lastly, don't default to Levi's shirts. Their fits and quality are just too inconsistent. So let's talk about brands. For the Western style, I do really like Flint and Tinder's Western shirt because at eight ounces, it's thick for a shirt and it is great in cooler weather and it's made in the United States as well. I've also been wearing their 365 corduroy pants in this and like also their wax jacket, so pretty solid brand. A cheaper option, albeit not as thick or American made, is Wranglers. They have a couple for under 50 bucks. Just make sure you're getting 100% cotton ones. And for a more upmarket Western option, Wythe has a really great reputation for their denim Western shirts. On the non-Western side, a classic pick is Lee's denim button-down, but the best budget one would actually be the one that Joel wore in The Last of Us, which is a Wrangler made exclusively for Walmart. Marine Layers is about the right substitute for the Splint and Tinder one. And for higher end stuff, Todd Snyder and Imogene and Willy have really great two pocket shirts. Imogene and Willy's is selvage as well. It's a really nice wash and it's made in America. Meanwhile, there are some options that are right between these two ends of the spectrum, like denim shirts with Western pockets, but without the pointed yokes on the front. So Taylor Stitch's Frontier shirt and Billy Reed's Shoals are pretty good bets. There are obviously a million other brands doing denim shirts, but those ones are pretty solid if you don't want to have homework to do. Just note that most other brands, like from Gap to Duluth, they blend the cotton with spandex and polyester, and you really want 100% cotton, ideally, for the way that it fits, drapes, and wears. Even though I don't think Joel's from The Last of Us fits those rules, but you know, nonetheless. All right, man, that was my pretty quick guide to how to wear a denim shirt, two kinds of denim shirts, mentioned a bunch of brands, a whole bunch of outfits. Uh, I hope that whatever your style is, you found something here that could give you some inspiration on how to wear the denim shirt. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know how you like to wear denim shirts and subscribe as well for more stuff on casual stuff that lasts a long time. That's what this whole channel's about. I'll catch you for the next one.